Hello, my name is Thomas. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Maya Tracks Editor combined with FaceShift and the FaceShift for Maya plugin. Two much different types of um, animation, uh, not different types of animation, different takes that you took in FaceShift together to make one seamless scene. So right now in the scene, I loaded the Macau sample which is available with the face shift for Maya plugin, examples, Macau, and the scene. And then you have to load the retargeting tools, otherwise the face shift for Maya plugin is not going to be connected to it. So, um, I did two recordings um, before this. Let's say I load take one, which right now is inside the recording, 690 frames. Uh, at this point, I'm assuming that everybody knows how to record takes in phase shift and, sorry, um, refine, retract them and export them as uh, phase shift binary files. So I'm just going to jump over there. So I have this recording. I want to add it to the to my rig. So I'm just going to add the recording now since I already retarget everything and phase shift manager knows what it's going to control. So I'm just going to edit. And now it can talk. Now let's adjust the timeline a bit. So now it can talk. Excellent. But this is not uh, the only clip that I want inside the scene. I want another clip to come after this, which um, of course you can do it all in one take inside phase shift, but then if you are not happy with some part of the takes and you want to replace them and so on um, it's not really convenient to uh, try and make a perfect take and just go on with that and also just to put another clip behind it it's not a good option as well because um, adjusting all this adjusting all these keys is tedious work that you don't want to do manually So to create to make a clip out of this, you have to first create a character character set inside Maya, which you can do by selecting every control that is relevant to this, which right now is uh, the head, the eyes, and all the controllers. So I selected them. I'm just going to go to character. Um, it's inside inside the animation menu character, create character set, and yeah, I already did this once before I did a tutorial, so face shift tracks, I'm just going to create this character, apply, and now you have an input, which is the face shift tracks character set. Right now you see that all the keys turn yellow because they have another input, that is okay. The keys are still driving the rig. Now we want to remove these keys by uh, selecting every controller, animate, create clip, let's say take one, and put clip in tracks editor and visor so we have them immediately inside it. So now you see all the keys are gone and if you open windows, animation, tracks editor, you see that we have a take inside this. The keys are not gone just anywhere, the keys are inside this take. You can still manipulate the keys by right clicking on it, activate keys, then you have the keys here. And you can still manipulate them, but yeah, it's kind of dense, so let's just let's not do that. So right now say right now you say, oh okay, every um, every keys are gone. Let's just add another recording. So I'm just going to load another recording, take two. And I'm going to try at the recording. Oh, you can add it because right now every controller is being driven by the by this character set, so it doesn't allow you to actually do anything with it. But if we turn activate keys, we could add the keys right now, but we still want to preserve these keys. So what are you going to do? You have to create another clip. Uh, that's actually going to be a sacrificial lamb or 
just use it for transfer reason. So the easiest way for this is just duplicate a clip. I'm just going to rename this bim, 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 attribute editor transfer transfer clip. So this clip um, is just going to be used to transfer animation uh, from the face shift from Maya plugin uh, to the character so I can turn it into clips. So let's just activate keys. These are the keys for the transfer clip. Just be sure to select it and go to the first frame, add recording. Bam. So, and you see that the face changed immediately. Now, it's, now it is a recording from a completely different character. And now we can just create another clip. Create clip. Take two. Apply. Easy. But as you see right now, the clips are interfering. Uh, for people don't, who don't know how to use Tracks Editor, uh, this, this is going to be a problem. So what you have to do is, right now the problem is that all the clips are trying to drive this rig and all the values are being uh, put on top of each other. They are being uh, multiplied, not multiplied. Um, what's the <laughs> Sorry. Yes, um, they're not multiplied, they are added on top of each other. That's the word I'm looking for. So like you see, um, the eye blink left. Actually, this character is just blink, putting, um, closing the eyelids just a little bit, but because these are three clips trying to drive it right now, it's always smack on 30. If you want to just run one clip, you can just switch it off, and now you have one clip and can look how it looks like. But if you put the other clip on top of it, it's going to be multiplied again, and now you cannot work with it. What you want to do is, you want to select the two clips that you want to run behind each other, this one and this one, and just blend it. So the difference between just putting them like this or, and blending it is, that it's actually um, finding the, it's actually dividing the values that you, that both clips give right now, and trying to um, equalize them. So you get a smooth transition from the first clip to the second clip. Let's just start here. So that's basically it. And if let's just, you can do it as with as many clips as you want. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to duplicate it and let's just blend this again. So that's really convenient if you have like a really long dialogue and um, are not able to take it in one take inside phase shift. Or if you if you if you took if you have taken a lot of takes and are happy with the start from this take and you want to end from the other take. It's easy to just um, blend them into one seamless take. And I'm just going to show you how it looks like if you did not use blend right now. So the animation is going to snap, kind of. Never mind. So this is basically it, basically it, and uh, this is the way how I'm doing it. I'm just going. And yeah, have fun playing, guys.